Tell me if you saw Playboy Carding, that picture of him. And I don't know if this is AI generated or what, but I mean, the man was wearing a thong. And I get that that males are now wearing, you know, what is it, fingernail polish. They painting their toes. Men, men are wear, they wearing dresses. What is your, I mean, is there a line? Is, is everything just completely blurred in 2024? Like, Man, I think people have come to the realization that they're trying so hard to be themselves, that themselves, being yourself comes off mediocre. So people are trying their best to push beyond their normal range or their their, their limits. They're, they're, they're trying to defy the, their own realm of self-expression. So they're going a little further to show that I'm different or I'm truly trying to be different. You know what I'm saying? And I think with a Cardi, to be honest with you, I'm going to just say this because I don't know Cardi like that. I met him, I met him at a Red Zone one time. I think it works for him. I think he likes the controversy because he knows how to navigate in that controversy. It's no different than what we talked about with Gilbert. The way he was able to come back, <laughs> I tip Saucy and Saucy like, ooh, baby dad. That's knowing how to navigate. You gotta know how to navigate. And I think that um, when you find your niche, your lane, whatever you wanna say, you know, your space, your place, um, you go with it. I think that's what Cardi's doing. Because a lot of a lot of the things I, when I'm around, especially younger people, women, or, or younger uh, uh, guys and, and women, when they talk about Cardi, they always be like, "Yo, Cardi!" Like they might say something. Like, I heard the song. They're like, but "Did you see what he had on? Did you see what he was doing? How he was looking?" Like so, that's really what's working for Cardi, in a sense. I'm not saying he doesn't make good music. I'm not saying he's not successful at his art and his craft. I'm just saying that he knows how to navigate through his controversy. And that's what sells for him. So, yeah, I saw it. I saw another video. He was playing with his hand, rubbing his shit. I was like, damn. I looked away for a minute. I looked back. I said, this nigga Cardi, play by Cardi, that nigga damn near cute. The way he was moving, he got the movement. That nigga was cute. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know, I was just looking at no nigga like, that nigga kind of cute or something. <laughs> I get how you can get away with it. You got to put the assumption on, like, that nigga kind of cute or something. <laughs> the nigga really had, like, let's be for real, dog. The nigga had the gestures and the movement down to a science, the way the nigga was doing his eyes, the way the nigga was, the nigga had in slow motion. I was like, damn, man, he doing this shit better than a lot of girls would be trying to do it, so. That's his thing, man. Coco, do you find Playboy Cardi cute? I, I can't wait for this segment to huh? drop. You don't know how you, Google Playboy Cardi. See, let me ask my daughter. Let me ask, ask my oldest daughter, because she's of that age group, you know what I'm saying? For me, when I see it, I'm just like, maybe he is. But who am I to judge who he, who he is or what he does? I, I'm not here for that. I got... I got limited time on earth. I don't want to spend my time judging motherfuckers, to be honest with you. I, I want to spend my time enjoying the fruits of my labor, the fruits of my loins. <laughs> you know, I want to live. I just want to leave a legacy. I don't really have time or make time to judge people. So so with the makeup, is it makeup or are you just saying he looks made up? What are you saying? It's make. It looks like makeup. Like from the pictures that I'm seeing. So in, in this day and era, you're a junior in college. You seeing a lot of that now? Is that is that the look? That's the look. Yeah. That's the look. They walk around campus like that. All so is that attractive to you? Are you attracted to that? No, I'm serious. It's, I know I'm your father. I'm asking you a question, but no, are you attracted? No. Okay. Because some people are. I mean, you know, it's 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 a little different these days. I mean, because 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 let's be for real. If you look back at some of the things that we was doing when we was the way we was dressing, y'all y'all the kids be laughing at us the same way we looking at y'all like, what the hell is y'all doing? It's, it's no different. You know, it's just now we have social media, um, we have the internet, so we're able to kind of mix and, and, and mingle and infuse a lot of the different things from different cultures, the arts, the lingo, the, the food, the, the way of life, the expression, and all of it kind of gets mixed in this melting pot. You know what I'm saying? I remember we used to go to the West Coast. You knew a West Coast nigga. You, you saw dicky suits, you saw long, uh, high top tube socks and, 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 and chucks. 
You know what I'm saying? It was the way a nigga wore his hair. It's a certain look about it. And he like, niggas mixed with a little more Latino, like Mexican. Like, niggas got a little look, the skin color a little different. Nigga like jawline a little different, you know what I'm saying? Then you go on down to New Orleans and niggas look different. Niggas slug the fuck out. Niggas is, niggas got a certain look. Niggas shave their face clean. Niggas ain't wearing beards in New Orleans. You know why? It's really hot and, and muggy maybe, maybe, you know? Niggas hold their mouth like this. You know why they hold their mouth like this, nigga? Because it's muggy. It's stuffy than a bitch out there, nigga. It's the, the humidity make a nigga feel like, ah, oh, shit. When you see a New York nigga, niggas is, why niggas hold their shoulders together so close and move so fast? You know why? You want to know why? Because it's cold, nigga. And it's a lot of people. So a nigga cold and don't want to move too much, you hit nobody. It's cold, nigga. So you be talking to New York nigga, nigga talk fast, nigga move like this and, you know, nigga, nigga talk a certain way. You like, why y'all turn y'all mouth to the side? Because it be cold, nigga. See they breath coming out, nigga. Do, Nigga direct they breath when they talking to you so the breath don't hit you. You know, it's just different things, man. I just be on my other shit sometimes. Okay. That was a nice <laughs> little tangent. Like, nigga like, this nigga don't, and I'll this, just let you go with it. This nigga over here writing notes. He like, I done found yeah. out my wife, I, th I thought that, I thought that Vlad TV, bring me on Vlad TV because I say good stuff. I done figured out, because they been saying, why Vlad don't ever interview you? And I done finally figured out, because Sean Perez is my therapist that was hired by my wife, and I just found this shit out. He over there right now. Okay, this nigga will go off on a tangent. <laughs> Throw it up and lay up, and he gonna run with it. So you my therapist, all right. This is this shit's good. It works for me. Nah, Thank but you. this is therapy. Thank you. I love <laughs> these conversations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>